Welcome to today's episode of the program Market Flow on ARC and TV, where we'll be exploring the Zuba fruit market. Fruits are delicious and nutritious part of our diet, and today we'll be taking a look at the prices of fruit here in Zuba fruit market. Join me as we look at the different types of fruit. My name remains Fatima Suleiman, your regular market surveyor. <laughs> I they say plantain. Yes. Um since two thousand and fifteen. Yes, I but as you know say it's a precious goose and we used to sell it we used to get the plantain during rainy season. As this dry season is the plantain is short. It's not coming as before. But we thank God that we are still having it small as you can see now. Plantain will still come as a normal supply as we used to sell before. So how is the price now? Is it okay yeah. to no, it's incomparable because nowadays you know things has changed. More especially the issue of transport and the rest. So the plantain now is cost. Yes, because of the transport and the rest. That's it. Yes, and I'm buying the plantain from Edo State. To here, I will bring the plantain from Edo to Abuja here every day. Yes, yes. By trans, I I will send. I have a agent there that I will call him. Then I will send money for him. He will buy the plantain, put it inside motor, and send my you no. Know, give the driver my number. Then the driver, when he come, he call me. Then I will come and see my lot. Yes, uh, before we are paying transport 170, 150, but now the transport is up to 250. That's what you are paying per J5. You understand? So the, 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 uh, the price has come up really. Yes, um, I'm selling it per dozen. Yes, because I'm a dealer. I'm not selling it one one. I'm selling it bunch, that's 12 per dozen. That's how I'm selling it. Uh, yes. Before, like big dozen, like one big dozen, we are selling like 35,000, 
40,000, but now it's up to 60, 70. Yes, like that one. That, that, that one now. If you reach 45 to 50,000 Naira, that dozen. Yes. This one, you know, it's not up to dozen, this one now. Yes, but I can say this one like 5,000 Naira or 7,000 Naira. Uh, it's from the government and the... the no, the issue, the issue of fuel, the transport, you understand, it's from the transport, that's what makes it the plantain cost. If not, if the price come down, we are, going, we are still bringing the price down. If the price of the motor is high, then we still, that's what we are looking for, you understand. Yes, when things have come in order, or when the government look into it, and bring some, uh, the issue of uh, fuel, price coming down then we too we can able to bring the price down yes they are patronizing but they are always crying really yes they are crying about the price even though they buy the plantain from our hand if they take the plantain to their shop they are complaining about the price the that's the people that that's the consumers yes no it's not only in Zuba here some are coming from other states that's neighboring state from Kaduna uh, Nasarawa state, some side from inside Abuja there. Yes, that's how it is. Yes, I can only keep it for just one or two days. Yes, because plantain, we don't, you don't have to leave plantain to stay too much because it will spoil. Yes, one day, two days, it don't ripe. So, um, uh, I, I will say it. Yes, I will say within, within that two days. Um, my challenge is that uh, we need uh, support from the government. You understand? We need support from the government to. If, if you look around the market safe, the market is somehow dirty, and so we need government intervention to help us and to look into our. That's the costly things of nowadays. Let the government put hand into it. We are selling plantain, pineapple, watermelon. Oh. Uh, orange and purple. Anything perishable goods, we are dealing with it. The market, we are managing it because customers are, are crying that uh, there's no money, no money, but they have just follow us. They buy, buy, manage, manage, manage. That's how we do push up. That's how we see it. Every day, daily, every day, every day. Every Sunday they are selling. Anytime. Yes. 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 Yes.
Different section in the market for some in the pineapple section, 
though I am not a dealer, what do you mean by dealer is a dealer, somebody that normally brings goods for him to sell. So I'm just an ordinary member under a dealer, who is just like my boss. And we normally sell this pineapple in dozens. And the, do the dozens are, are of different grade, like this one now. Uh, regarding this place, this, this is the first grade. So we have, like that one is second grade, this one we say is the last grade. So we normally say in dozens. Mm, uh, with the removal of subsidy, definitely the price has been affected. There is a kind of hike in the price. You know, this, is, uh, this, uh, this thing involves transportation. And you know, the moment the price, uh, the, the price of fuel has gone up, definitely in one way or the other it must affect the, the price of this thing. Normally the motto is 80,000 naira, but now they have to pay 130, 150 from, from here to Edo State. Normally bring it from Edo State, yes. Before the removal of fuel subsidy, it was 80,000 naira. For the motor, but now it's almost 150, 140, 150 at times. This first grade, like for today, you know, the price is not stable. You know, it's not stable. You know, we, we adhere strictly to that law of economics that say the higher the supply, the lower the price, and the lower the supply, the higher the price. So, like for today, you know, the supply is low, so the price definitely is has gone up. Yes, like for today, this one we normally sell this size at. 12,000, 13,000, even 15,000 naira. Yes, for today. And you know, the, the, uh, the, the, this is the time of Ramadan fasting, so the demand is high. When the demand is high, definitely the price has to shoot up. For the second year, like that one, 7,000, 8,000 naira, normally, sir. The last year, this was 3,000, 3,500, or 4,000 naira at most. Mm, you know, actually, it have to it involve one or two technicalities. You know, you see us sometimes beating it or either pressing it. It's for us to check, okay, does this pineapple have water or is this pineapple okay? So, uh, to say you have to involve some little training for you to, you cannot just be like, yes, it's perishable. If you have a very good place, you can keep it for like one week. Yes. Yeah, but for you to preserve pineapple very well, you have to. Yes, for the pineapple to last for, for at least one week or even more than. One of the major challenges is, I would say, is capital. We lack capital. Actually, and the second thing is you can see the situation of our market, particularly rainy season. The situation is actually is deplorable, it's deplorable. Yes, yeah. Particularly the barrows, the motors, and the rest. We normally face a lot of challenges. Yes, yeah. Sometimes if you come, you see this is this is something people normally eat. But if you come and see the situation of the market, actually is. Mm. I am the vice president of the security man in this market. And of course, as you can see, this market, there is nothing we don't sell in this market. This market is actually not divided into sections. Depends on what you want or what you want to sell, you just pick a stand for yourself. You can buy and you can sell any section. I decided to sell pineapple. I have boys everywhere around. Personally, this is the month of Ramadan. This year, things are quite expensive. Last year, by this time, this very watermelon you are seeing, we don't like this. We do sell it for ten thousand naira, but this year because of scarcity of farm produce, we are selling it for twenty thousand naira or fifteen thousand. Honestly, for me, I think the reason I would put in the blame on the government. If you ask me, we go as far as Kotonu to get those products. But for Kotonu, anytime you go, they sell those things. They are pineapple. It's not as sweet as Nigeria's. No pineapple is as good as Nigeria's pineapple. Because it's Nigeria. Because it's scarce. It's very scarce. We're supposed to be having it so plenty. So when we go with our car, we can get. For the poor man, it's quite expensive. Something that you do get for 3000 is now going for 6000 Honestly, my call to the government that when it comes to things that has to do with fruits, in fact, everything in Nigeria is supposed to be very cheap, not this expensive. There are farmers. There are farmers in different aspects, like in Ghana. We go as far as Ghana to get produce and fly them abroad. Like in Nigeria, we're supposed to have a company that can sell this on a subsidized price for the poor people. This, we get them from the farm because they have to water it. They need to sink boreholes in the farm. Now they have to wait till raining season. Because these fruits, you don't get them during raining season, except during heat. That is why it's expensive, especially in the months of Ramadan. We sell them in dozens. 
we buy a car. Those in that is for 30,000, that is for 20,000 or 25,000, that is for 15,000, even 10,000. This is something that someone goes to get and brings home. You go as a marketer to get in quite expensive, you bring to the market. Of course, you have to be very patient because you are seeing it as something that's quite cheap or he knows how much he has spent to get it from the farm. Like, the leaders do draw the attention of people, especially now that we're in the month of Ramadan. They try as much as possible to let people know why they need to sell things cheaper. Everyone should just get the little gain he can get and be patient.